Let us get into the word of the Lord. Amen. I am here. My name is Juri uh, Masanabo. I am uh, sound in this house. Hallelujah. I've been serving this ministry for more than 15 years, you know, since we started in Delmas. And Delmas campus is, you know, uh, you know, growing and God has done amazing things there. And we trust God here in Benoni that God will do amazing things. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of the Lord that I would like to share with you this morning is take heed. Amen. Taking heed. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter number 13, verse 23. Take heed. Take heed. Take heed. I'm going to read it, hallelujah, in the New American Standard Bible. But take heed, behold, I have told you everything in advance. But take heed, behold, I have told you everything in advance. Mark 13, verse 33. Take heed, keep on the alert, for you do not know when the appointed time will come. Amen. Take heed. Behold, I have told you everything in advance. The word of the Lord is filled with so many scriptures, you know, that, you know, uses the word heed. That we must take heed. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. And the word, you know, uh, simply, you know, translated, it means that we need to be aware. Amen. We need to be alert. We need to be on guard. Hallelujah, Basalwan. You see, as children of God and as the church, you know, we have an invisible enemy in a visible world. Satan and his demons is alive. And he's seeking every day, Basalwan, to devour us. We have a predator. As children of God, hallelujah, Bazalana, who is plotting every day our downfall, hallelujah, Bazalan. We must not take our faith lightly, we must not take our calling lightly, we must not take what we are doing right now for granted, hallelujah, Bazalan. You know, as the church, we are the most, you know, we have the most potent weapon in our hands, which is the word of the Lord. But we as believers, sometimes we, we take things lightly. Amen. There is so much content available, especially in this house, online, everywhere, that will help us, that will equip us as children of God, that we may take heed. Hallelujah, Bazalan. That we may take heed, that we may guard and be aware. But as children of God, now and then we take things lightly. Amen. We begin to, you know, uh, 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 not take our walk with God seriously. And that's what Satan wants. Hallelujah, Bazolan. That's his strategy. You know, he is trying to swift you. He's trying to move you away from the call of God. Amen. He, 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 we have, you know, he's a master tactician on dealing with God's children. Hallelujah. If you don't believe me, ask Adam and Eve. He's the master of twisting God's truth. Hallelujah. He will tell you the truth. Hallelujah. But the interpretation of the truth will depend, hallelujah, on the results and the outcome that are going to happen in your life. Hallelujah, Bazolan. So we have an enemy, an adversary that the Bible, you know, uh, uh, speaks about. And it says that we must take heed, we must be on guard. And I have showed you everything in advance. I have given you tools to deal with the enemy in advance. Hallelujah. Take heed. Take heed. Say to your neighbor this morning, take heed. Amen. And we, we take Satan for granted, you know, we take him for granted, you know, and, and the Bible says, you know, God guarantees us that Satan, he, he is defeated, you know, he is a defeated foe, you know, he, 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 he has no voice, hallelujah, what's awaiting him is judgment, hallelujah, Barcelona. but he wants to take as much as, you know, as many people as he can to hell with him. Amen. That is why he is working over time to try and bring us down and try and bring the church 
down. Hallelujah, Pastor. And as children of God, we need to take heed of God's voice. Hallelujah. We must take heed of God's word. We must not take those things lightly that we are being taught every day. Hallelujah, Pastor. We need to live and behave as children of God, as children of light. Amen. Because this enemy that we are faced with, this adversity that we are faced with, Pastor. Hallelujah. He is not playing games. Hallelujah, Pastor. Once he deals with you, to come back is going to be tough. It's difficult. Hallelujah, Pastor. That is why you must not play with backsliding in your life. Hallelujah. You must not play. You must not entertain things that are going to cause you to lose favor. Hallelujah. This salvation, Pastor, it's not easy to find because why? The God of this world has blinded their eyes. Hallelujah, Pastor. And once God opens your eyes, you must take it. You must be on guard. Hallelujah, Pastor. Until when? Until Jesus come. Hallelujah. As long as you are a child of God, as long as you are alive, you need to be on alert. Hallelujah, Pastor. You need to be like a security company that is ready to, to, to respond. Hallelujah, Pastor. And God has given us tools. God has given us means. Hallelujah. God has given us his words to fight the enemy. Hallelujah, Pastor. But when he comes, Pastor, he knows that everybody hates him. He comes, hallelujah, in, in, in camouflage. He comes without you knowing. Hallelujah. He will present a beautiful man in your life as a young single lady. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will present somebody who is handsome, somebody who is successful, somebody who drives the car, somebody who speaks well, somebody who is eloquent, somebody who looks like, but they are not. Hallelujah, Barcelona. They have everything, all the qualities on the list that you have. Hallelujah, Barcelona. But they do not have a relationship with God. He will say to you, hallelujah, Gafana, others did it. Look at so and so. It worked out for them. Hallelujah. Look at so and so because why? He is cunning. He is cunning. He is cunning. He will present to you, hallelujah, Barcelona, a young, beautiful woman, if you are a young person, hallelujah, Barcelona, and say, you know what? You know, everybody is doing it. Why don't you do it? Amen. Hallelujah. You are not old school. Hallelujah. Moving with the times. Hallelujah. We live in the digital age. We live in the, in the age where things that were not accepted now, you know, it's fine. You know, and people are bold in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. They don't mind telling you as a leader in the house of the Lord that, no, you know, Elder Nam, I do have, you know, somebody. Amen. You know, we'll see how it goes. Hallelujah. Barcelona. So, so, so we have an enemy that he is not really dealing with you. He's dealing with your destiny. Hallelujah. He's dealing with what you are carrying. Hallelujah. He's dealing with, the, he sees other lives that you're going to impact, what you're going to do for God's kingdom. Hallelujah, Basolani. He's not dealing with you. He's dealing with your children. Amen. He's not dealing with you. He's dealing with your family. He's continuing on the case. Hallelujah, Basolani. If again, Azanga Gubia Kona, Omuntu, Owenza, Into, Ekakrile. Hallelujah. He's dealing with that. Hallelujah. You need to identify the symptoms in your life. You need to do an introspection. You need to take Take heed, Barcelona. Take heed. Be on guard. Be on alert. You cannot take things lightly, Barcelona. Hallelujah. You, you can't take things lightly because I tell you, when he was done with Adam and Eve, we are here today because he dealt with Adam and Eve, Barcelona. Hallelujah. He's treacherous. He is evil. Hallelujah, Barcelona. He will deal with you. He will nullify you. He will nullify your voice. Hallelujah. He will silence you. Hallelujah. In the house of the Lord. He will make sure that in the kingdom of God, you don't no longer participate. Hallelujah. He uses whomever and whoever is available. Remember that from the Passover. Hallelujah. Do not allow the enemy to use anyone to cause you to miss your destiny. Hallelujah. 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 Your destiny is more than is more important than what people say. Hallelujah. Your destiny is more important. Hallelujah. Doing the will of God in your life is more important than what people say. Hallelujah. Because it pays to serve God. Amen. God will reward you diligently. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Uncle Unkulu. If you don't believe me, ask Job. You know, Job was a diligent and a dedicated man who offered sacrifices to the Lord on behalf of his children. He was worried his relationship with his relationship with God was it was sorted. Hallelujah. He was a man after God's heart. Hallelujah. He was a man who feared the Lord. But a conversation takes place between Satan and God, and Job is not involved. Unkunungul is so proud of Job. He says to Satan, Have you seen my servant Job? Hallelujah. Amazon. Have you seen my servant Job? This is what Satan says. He says, because you've got a hedge around him. The reason why Satan can't touch or couldn't touch Job is because God had built a hedge around him. God had built 
the and heads around Job because Job offered prayer. Job had a relationship with God. If you do not have a relationship with God, if you do not take heed to His word, Hallelujah, there won't be any hedge, Hallelujah. The hedge around you is built by being obedient to the word of God. Is built by being committed to the word of God. Is built by being serving in the house of God. Hallelujah, Basalan. One of the things that you must not let go, that you must find if you are not doing to serve in the house of the Lord because that Lord keep you even when things are tough if you do not want to if you if you don't want to come to church hallelujah but because you are serving sometimes you show up and when you show up God show up and when his word shows up it changes your life hallelujah so one of the things that he deals with hallelujah that you must stop serving in the house of the Lord hallelujah that you must stop giving your time into the house of the Lord hallelujah until until Jesus come you still have to come and give come and worship come and pray as long as you are a child of God hallelujah you have to do those things hallelujah as soon as they strive in your heart you need to go back to God you need to take heed to his word hallelujah because what he seeks he seeks to move you away hallelujah and I have seen it I've been a child of God for quite a long time and I have seen it it's the same pattern hallelujah he tried me with that pattern hallelujah and God by his grace he saved me hallelujah and I see other young people hallelujah I see other believers falling prey hallelujah to the snare to the devices of the enemy hallelujah may you not become a victim hallelujah say it in your heart I will not become a victim hallelujah I refuse to become a victim hallelujah there's nothing wrong about being single Barcelona. hallelujah there's nothing wrong about living for God hallelujah you do not have to organize your stress Barcelona. somebody here who's going to give you a headache hallelujah Barcelona. somebody that we have to now come and cancel hallelujah Barcelona. you do not have to hallelujah serving God and being single is a gift from God hallelujah God works on you hallelujah works on you he works on the inside of you that when now you are ready to have somebody in your life. God will present that somebody in your life. Hallelujah. But what the enemy will do, he will send somebody to destroy you. Amen. I don't know why I have dwelt so much there. It's not what I planned. Hallelujah, Bazolan. It's not take heed. The Proverbs, Solomon's talking to his son. Take heed to my words. Take heed. We take things lightly in the church. We take things lightly. We take things lightly. We do not take our relationship with God serious in the church. Because why? And we've said this in the past. Because everything is for free. Prayer is free. Healing is free. Everything is free in the house of God. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. The advice is free. Lawyers and accountants and architects, you pay them a lot of money. You know, for to consult. But in church, if you want to start a business, you want to do something, you want to get married, you know, you're looking for advice, for this and that, the, ad the advice is there and it's available for free. We must not take things lightly because that's what Satan wants us to do. He wants to take things lightly. Amen. Take heed to yourselves take heed to yourselves that's point number one Deuteronomy chapter number 11 verse 16 take heed to yourselves lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them take heed to yourself to yourselves lest your heart be deceived you turn aside and serve other gods and worship him. You see, you have to guard this gift of salvation with everything that you have. You must not take it lightly. Hallelujah, Bazalwani. You must say it in your heart that I will never go back to where God brought me out from. I will never live my life the way that I lived my life before I met God. You need to take heed to yourself. You need to see the kind of a person that you were before you met God. 
and the kind of a person that you are now, hallelujah, Basolwane, you are actually in a far more better position than you were. Hallelujah, Basolwane. Amen. Amen. I know that Satan is there and he makes things, things seem as if, hallelujah, Basolwane, are bad. He gives you that impression that you were better off in the world. That things happened easy at the time. Hallelujah, Basolwane. I know sometimes we go through and God, he says in, in his word, because he loves us, Bazalwan, hallelujah. He chastens us, hallelujah, Bazalwan. Because God loves us, because he loves us, you know. When God is getting ready to do something big in your life, hallelujah, God begins to deal with certain things in our lives that will become a hindrance in the future. God begins to deal, and that process, Bazalwan, of pruning, it's not easy, it's very tough. Amen. Where you pray and nothing happens. Hallelujah. And you ask yourself, God, where are you in this situation? Amen, Basolani. There are things that when you listen to believers and they share with you what they are going through. And I usually say to myself that God, but God, you know, just in a lifeline, a lifeboat, you know, just help them with this. Just do this thing, you know, for them. But God. God, Basolani, hallelujah, he's not moved by emotions. God is not looking at our situation. He's looking at how are we going to overcome this that we are going through so that God can trust us with more. Amen. So God can trust us with more. So that is why we have to take heed to ourselves. We need to guard ourselves. We need to guard our spiritual lives. We need with, with everything. You must not take your salvation. Your soul is available to God. Hallelujah, Bazolan. So do not take it lightly. And Satan wants the soul. He wants to deal with that. Amen. And do not allow him. Do not, like I said earlier, do not become a victim. Amen. He, he, he do not become a victim because there, there will be times, I'm not saying, you know, it's going to be easy. There will be times when things are tough. Hallelujah, Pastor. And, and you pray to God and you ask God and say, God, God and God and God and in the morning and what God is doing at that time, Basolani, he's establishing your relationship with him. He wants you to know that he is the only source. He is the only true God in your life. Hallelujah, Basolani. Because where we read, it says, Hallelujah, take heed, lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship him. It's easy to worship the blessing. Hallelujah, Basolani. It's easy to worship the blessing, to worship your career. Hallelujah. It's easy to put those things first. Hallelujah. There are many people who come into the house of the Lord without a job and they are committed. They are dedicated into the house of the Lord without a business. They are dedicated. But as soon as there is a breakthrough, hallelujah, Basolane, we see less and less and less and less of them. That's not God's intention about your life. God does not want you to choose between going to work and, and serving him. Hallelujah. God wants you to do both. But God, hallelujah, he is a jealous God. He, it says here, guard your heart so that you may not be deceived. Hallelujah. Because the enemy that we are dealing with, hallelujah, he is a father of deception. Amen. He, 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 he deceives. He is, he is the master of deception. Hallelujah. He will, he, will, he will deceive you. Hallelujah. When the blessing is there, he will make you to work over time so that you do not have time with God. Hallelujah. He always finds a room. He always finds a way. That is why the Bible says do not give a room. Do not give a, a room, a space as nine omnigas are sona. We are seven six. Hallelujah, so 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 take heed to yourself that you are not deceived. Hallelujah, because the, he, is, he is the deceiver. Not only that, he deceived Hallelujah, hallelujah. A third of angels in heaven. He deceived them. He is an invisible enemy. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceives you. God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Matthew 24, verse 4. Let no man deceive you. Let no one deceive you. Let no one deceive you. For God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Hallelujah. So God says, take heed to yourselves. What does that tell us? 
This means beware, be careful, pay attention, take care. In the Living Translation, it says, take care, I have warned you. Be on guard, watch out, and follow God closely. And it says again, be careful and stand firm. Amen. Mark 4 verse 24, it says, And he was saying to them, Take care what you listen to. Hallelujah. Number one, the warning is, be warned that no one deceives you. Then he says, you know, take heed to yourselves and be careful of what you hear. Hallelujah, Basalwan. Your salvation is so available to you and to God. You cannot afford, hallelujah, to allow people to deceive you with their own intellect, with human understanding, with human wisdom, with human knowledge. You cannot afford. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hallelujah, Basalwan. And when God begins to deal with us in our lives, he removes certain voices in our lives. Hallelujah. Certain people that will say things that are not correct in your lives. Hallelujah. You need to guard yourself in such a way that, you know, you temporarily move away from their presence. Hallelujah, Basalwan. And come back later on when you are ready, you know, to engage them and to deal with that situation. You need to prioritize this gift of salvation. Hallelujah, Basalwan. Because it does not come easy. It came at the price. So we take it lightly as children of God. We do not pray, hallelujah, Bazalwan. We do not come to church. We come to church when we want. We prioritize other activities. There are many things out there that I would like to do every weekend. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. It's not that we do not have money to do it, but it's because there is a calling of God that is calling us in this house. We're taking heed. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. It's not that God has not given us resources to live our lives the way that others are living their lives. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. But there is a relationship and the covenant that I have to rekindle every Sunday. That I have to work on, hallelujah. And was who's temper because I do not know what will happen tomorrow. Hallelujah, Basolan. I have to pray every day over my life. I have to pray for my marriage. I have to pray for my wife. I have to pray for my children. Hallelujah. I have to pray for you. In hallelujah, Basolan. I have to pray for the church. I have to pray for our pastors. I have to pray for those that are not saved. Why, Basolana? Because there is a calling, there is a mandate that we have to prioritize in our lives. That we have to put it first. Hallelujah, Basolana. These things shall be added on. Hallelujah, Basolana. These other things, Unkulunkulu wants us, hallelujah, to have them. He delights when he sees us prosper. Hallelujah. He delights when we, go, when, 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 when we are successful. But there is a mandate, there is a priority because when you take when you take heed to yourself you begin to discern what's right and what's wrong you begin to know what must I prioritize in my life what must I push back hallelujah amen hallelujah hallelujah I, you, you you begin to understand that you know what next week the 17th I know that I need to be at church and I begin to align my days and I begin to do things so that I am available on the 17th hallelujah Barcelona, that I'm available on the for the God Men, hallelujah, that I'm available for another church program. I'm available, I'm available, I'm available because if you're not available, He will deal with you. Hallelujah, Basil. By the time you come to us and you say, This is what has happened in your life, is because the process started two years ago. Amen. Because did you hear what they said about you? And if you listen to that, He takes it to another level. They do not love you, they do not care about you. Hallelujah. When you try to pray and for the next five minutes you are praying. He says, you see nothing is happening in your life. Hallelujah. You apply for a job. No one responds. Hallelujah. Basulan. You try this and that. He is busy. Hallelujah. Basulan. He is your adversary. Amen. But if you press on 
towards the mark of your high calling. Hallelujah. You will not only will you receive your breakthrough. Hallelujah. You will, you will, God will give you a breakthrough and you will break out. Hallelujah. But sorry, Umruti said something very powerful the other day. He said, most of us, we receive the breakthrough of God. Hallelujah. But that breakthrough is short-lived. Hallelujah. We do not break out of poverty. We taste the promised land and we go back to the wilderness. Hallelujah. But I sense the spirit this morning and that says to us, we are coming out of poverty. We are coming out of lack. We are taking heed to the voice of the Lord. We are taking heed to the word of the Lord. We are coming out. We are coming out and we are not going back. Hallelujah, Barcelona. Our lives that we left are not worth it. Hallelujah, Barcelona. The life in Egypt is not better than the life in the King Canaan. Hallelujah, Barcelona. Things are better where God is taking us. Things are better where God is moving you. Hallelujah, Barcelona. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Hallelujah. Do not be moved from your position. Stand still and fight the good fight of faith. The Bible says, put on the full armor of God so that you might stand. Hallelujah. Put on the full armor that you may wage a warfare against this enemy. And this enemy, you have to defeat him in your life so that your children don't have to face the same demons that you face. Hallelujah. If you do not defeat the enemy in whatever sphere that is challenging you, your children will have to fight the same scene. Hallelujah. Your children will have to fight the same battles. Hallelujah. Amen. The circle will continue in your life. The circle of poverty will continue. Hallelujah. You will have enough just for you. Amen. You'll have enough. You'll, you'll bear. You'll survive. Hallelujah. And your children will come. They have to start afresh. They have to build from, from, from afresh. They have to start where you left off. Sometimes even worse. They have to start from the beginning. Hallelujah. But you owe it not to yourself, but to your children to cut off this enemy. To cut off. Hallelujah. To take it to yourself. Hallelujah. To say, it stops with me. Today, it stops with me. I refuse to fornicate. I refuse to live my life in sin. I refuse, Masolane, not to fulfill the mandate of God. I refuse to give up. I refuse to throw in the towel. I refuse. I refuse. I will love my family and I will love my children. I will love God with my heart and I will love God's people. Hallelujah. I will have passion for God's work. Amen. The back stops with you. Otherwise, we will not do anything great in the kingdom of God. Amen. Because the enemy sets standards, he sets limits. He will say to you in business, you will break through at this level. In your career, you will have this and that. But beyond this level, you will not get there. And every time you try and break out, and break that roof, that ceiling, that limitation. Those change. Hallelujah. They strife that happens in your life. And you try and you try and you try and you try and you try. And he says to you, you see it's not working out. Amen. And at that moment, do not make an emotional decision. Be sound in your mind. Rely on the voice of the Holy Spirit. Rely on the word of God. Amen. That is why, Basulain, hallelujah. My last point is, you must take heed to the word of God. You must take heed to the word of God. Because that's how we fight our battles. Through his word. God has given us his word to wage this warfare. Amen. God has given us his word to fight the prince of darkness. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 12. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed that he does not fall. Before we go to taking heed to God's word, let's quickly first look at taking heed lest you fall. Take heed lest you fall. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed that he does not fall. The reason why you have to take heed so that you do not fall. You see, 
Saul's demise was and shows us that even though Saul Saul was the Lord's chosen king for the Israelites but Saul lost everything by losing sight of the only thing that mattered the most his relationship with the one true king his relationship with God so take heed lest you fall You see, Saul's situation became so bad, amen, that when Samuel told him that your time is up, that God has left you, and he knew that God has left him because he began to focus on things that do not matter to God, being disobedient to God, hallelujah, not spending time with God. By the time he woke up, God had already found someone else to replace him. Now, him, instead of repenting and going to God, he says to Samuel, Amen, can you walk with me publicly so that people can see that when I walk with you, they will think that God is still with me. What a sad ending to a life and the story that started so well. Take heed lest you fall. So, Barcelona, when it comes to falling as a child of God, do not be too sure of yourself. Amen. Anyone, anytime, that can happen to him. That is why we need to guard against that. That is why we need to be wise. That is why we need to rely on God. Lest we fall, just like so. Anointed as, as he was. Hallelujah, Barcelona. The Bible says he was tall and handsome. Hallelujah. A head above his peers. A head and shoulder above his, his peers. Amen. And he was anointed by God to become the first king of Israel. But this journey, somewhere, somehow, disobedience kick in. And when disobedience kicks, kicks in, hallelujah, the presence and the favor of God suffers. And there are consequences, hallelujah, that happens in, in his life. Amen. Unless we fall. And same as Jonah, hallelujah, Barcelona. When we are disobedient to God, amen, when we do not take heed to, 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 to what God is saying to our, to our lives, hallelujah, not only that does it affect us, but it affects those who are around us. You know, Jonah was on a boat being disobedient to God and everyone else there became a victim of a one man who was disobedient. Amen. Because God is busy dealing with this guy and now there are casualties of war. The Bible says then they started to pray to their God and they threw their goods off the boat not knowing what was going on because a man who was disobedient to God was on the boat. Amen. Because when we, when we do not take heed to the voice of God, it affects our environment. It affects our family. It affects our children. It affects our businesses. It affects us in the workplace because we do not know how to respond to certain things. Amen. We do not know. Things become chaotic. We need, we, we need to be obedient to God's voice. Amen. Sometimes we can't fix that, Barcelona, without a lot of pain. By the time we return to the word of the Lord, there's chaos. Amen. Yes, you know, you chose that career and you realize that actually, or you went to live in a different city and you realize that actually what I thought I needed at that time, I did not actually need. Amen. It comes being disobedient, Basara, and not taking heed. It comes with a lot of consequences. We suffer unnecessarily so. Yes, you know, we understand that, you know, it was a mistake that you had the child. And the child is not a mistake because it's a blessing from the Lord. Amen. But umama umtuan. Ubaba umtuan. Inya upi menzan. You can't. Yes, it's a gift from God. But because we do not wait for God. Amen. We have to find ourselves dealing with a lot of consequences that were unnecessary. And this is a prayer that you need to pray. And to all the young people here 
who are singing, if you're not married, amen, you need to pray and wait for God to give you that person that he has for your life. There is no need for you organizing, orchestrating. Like what's, what, what's the pressure for? Who's watching that you are still singing? Who, who's keeping time? Because here in the house of the Lord, we, do not, we are not keeping time. We are praying with you, waiting for God. Because the Bible says, watch and pray, lest you fall. You must be a prayerful believer. Hallelujah. Being single, give your life to God. Study the word. You have time to go. Hallelujah. But if you want to have fun, you can have fun by yourself. You can have fun with your boys. You can fight with your girls. Hallelujah. There is no need. Who said you were incomplete? Hallelujah. Because you are singing. Who said? Who, who told you that lie? Amen. But the world out there, that's what it says. But in the kingdom of, in the kingdom of God, things work differently. Amen. We have to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Take heed of God's word. Psalm 119 verse 9. How can a young man keep his ways pure? By living according to your word. God's word is full of instruction. God's word is full of power and we must live according to God's word. How will God's word enable us to take heed? Number one, it will give you power to take heed so that you are able to watch and pray always. It will give you power to discern between good and evil. Number three, it will protect you and it will give you spiritual growth. And once God develops you, amen, once God works on your character, you must never give it up. Take heed of God's word. How can a young man keep his way pure? by living according to the word of God. You see, the word of God is all powerful. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will remain. There is nothing more powerful than the word of God in this life. Hallelujah, Barcelona. The word of God, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. It divides, hallelujah, the flames of fire. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord, Barcelona, it heals, it delivers. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth were created by the spoken word of God. We are here today because the word of the Lord. Amen. The word of the Lord is a powerful weapon in the hands of the believer. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord rebukes Satan. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord, Barcelona, it gives us strength. It, 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 it encourages us in Jesus' name. It helps us to take heed. Hallelujah, Barcelona. It helps us to stand. If there's one thing that you can know and that you can do for yourself as a child of God is to know the word of God, is to allow the word of God to live in, in your life hallelujah to apply it in your life it does not help quoting scriptures it does not help memorizing the word of God it has to become life in your life you have to live by it hallelujah Barcelona. you have to walk by it you have to be obedient to it amen the word of God only works you see the Bible hallelujah if you take the Bible and you put it in your house the Bible is sitting there as a book. It is useless. Hallelujah, Basura. It cannot do anything until you open it. Until you open that app. Hallelujah. Until you read that I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah, Basura. And begin to realize that, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you are faced with your situation, you begin to quote the word of God. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. You begin, it begins to become life. You taking heed through his word. Say, to, tell your neighbor to say, know the word of God. Live by the word of God. Hallelujah, Basalwan. You need to know the word of God because the word of God will protect you. The word of God will cover you. Hallelujah. The word of God will give you wisdom. You will know what to say, when to say, how to say it. The word of God will give you the spirit of discernment. Hallelujah. If there are many doors that are open, opening in front of you and people are presenting different opportunities, the word of God will help you to discern. 
You know, God will tell you, not this door, not that door, not this door, but this door is for you. Hallelujah, Pastor Lion. But at that time, things will not make sense. You will rely on the word of God. Amen. See, when I got married as well, I mean, we prayed. We used to pray and we prayed and we trusted God. I prayed with Pastor Tulani, you know, to say, you know, I pray, I pray, I pray. You know, help me, God. Help me, God. Hallelujah, Pastor Lion. Because that decision that I needed to make, that he needed to make, Pastor Lion, it was a tough one. We could not, I could not depend depend on myself on my own so that is why i am saying you need the word of god around you you need i mean you need the word of god in your life hallelujah and you need others who are filled with the word of god around you who are going to pray with you who are going to tell you the truth hallelujah Basola. if you come with the wrong thing with the wrong door they will tell you no that door is not for you amen that person that you think actually is the person when i prayed this morning I sense in my spirit that God says, you know, that person is not for you. Hallelujah. And you need to be matured enough as a believer to know that actually I know that my friend, I know that my pastor, hallelujah, he's a, he's a man full of God's spirit. He will not deceive me. He has nothing. Hallelujah. He, he has the best interest. He has my best interest at heart. Hallelujah. He will not say something. Hallelujah. Just Jay. Hallelujah. But he, he cares about me. He cares about my well-being. Amen. So, so, so we need the word of God in our lives to help us make the correct decisions. We cannot, you, you, you can't take for granted something that has to do with your destiny. Hallelujah. Without relying on God's word. What did God say? What did God say? What did God say to you? You cannot go on a journey, Barcelona. And, and, and make a life-changing decision without relying on God. At some point, you need to hear from God. Is this person meant for me or not? Is this door meant for me or not? Is this what I am supposed to be doing or not, Barcelona? Here's the challenge. Here's the trick. You know, when you, are, when, you are, when you find yourself in that position, amen, Satan, he comes and he presents alternatives. That is why you need to be of descending. The Bible says, after Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, hallelujah, he was led, hallelujah, to be tempted. Amen. He, and, and, and he answered the enemy. He answered Satan by the word of God. That is why you need the word of God. You cannot make any life-changing decision without the word of God. I can't rely on my own strength in my business, Basola. Hallelujah. Things are bad in the world. Like people are paying bribes. People are doing wrong things. So we rely on the word of God. God said, go into the marketplace. Hallelujah. But when things are tough, I said, God, you are the one who said, I must go into the marketplace. So see how you make this thing come to pass. Amen. Then God steps in. Hallelujah. Because he wants to share the glory. He, God, hallelujah, Pastor Lani, he, he wants to be glorified. He wants to show people that I did that for you. So take heed to the word of God. The scripture that we have read, but take heed, behold, I have told you everything in advance. So God has said it in his, he has given us his word in advance. By the time you become his child, you become born again. The manual for you to function in this life is available. Daily, you must consume it. Daily, you must spend time on it. Because there is a word there that you will need one day. There is a word there that you need to share with somebody. There is a word there. Hallelujah, Basulan. God has given us the tools in advance. All the warnings in advance. In advance, Everything that we need for our careers, for our calling in advance. It's available. It has been given us in advance. Amen. It's up to us to take the word of God seriously. It's up to us to take the manual seriously. Amen. And to apply it in our lives, Basulan. You see, a traffic light is useless or a stop sign is, loose, is useless if you do not obey it. Amen. If when you choose that I'm going to go through it, it won't work for you. You'll find yourself in an accident. Hallelujah. And most of us as children of God, we find ourselves involved in accident because, hallelujah, we, we do not observe the laws. We do not observe the traffic laws. Hallelujah. It's a stop sign. You do not stop. It's, it won't work for you. Amen. And as a child of God, we need to be vigilant and we need to be consistent in the word of God. We need to take heed to the word of God. In this house, Barcelona, every Sunday, we are given a powerful word 
Amen. Every Saturday, every Monday, daily devotions we are given a powerful word, word from God. It's up to you to devour it. It's up to you to study it. It's up to you to take heed to it. Hallelujah. You have no one to blame when things are not working out in your life. Hallelujah. The first person that you must take heed is yourself to say, did I do what God said I must do? Amen. And you cannot, you can't blame God because God is blameless. Hallelujah. Because he has given us everything that we need in advance. Amen. His word is life. If you believe in it. His word, Pastor You see, it pains us. It pains me to see children of God making simple mistakes. Simple errors. That are going to cost them their entire lives. That bearing that you're going to carry forever. Yes, God has saved you. Yes, you have returned to the Lord. Hallelujah, Bazolan. But the baby mama is here. But the baby daddy is here. And the children are here. And that's the drama that you have to deal with. Amen, Bazolan. There are consequences, there are things that we did. Amen, Bazolan. And we find ourselves, you know, because we do not take heed to the word of God. But God's grace is available. His mercy is available. He says, if you return to me, I will return to you. If you seek me, you will find me. If you knock, I will open. Hallelujah, Basolan. I will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. Hallelujah. It's never too late with God. Hallelujah, Basolan. If you take your, if you cast your cares to him, he cares for you. Hallelujah. If you take your burden to him, Hallelujah, Basolan. He says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Hallelujah. He says, bring all to me. There is no need for you to carry everything yourself, Basolan. It's impossible. Hallelujah. You've been worn down because you're trying to carry things yourself. Hallelujah. Enough is enough now. Do not cover anything, Basolan. But take it to God. Hallelujah. And say, God, here I am this morning. I want to take heed to your voice. I want to take heed to your voice. I am tired of this situation. Change it, O oh God. Libra Zutelebekesia. Go to him in prayer. With boldness, you must approach his throne, Basolana. For his mercies and joys forever. Hallelujah, Basolana. He will, God is able to restore us. God is able to give us a clean slate, Basolana. God is able to do things from the beginning. Hallelujah, Basolana. God is able to wipe away all our sins. Hallelujah, Basolana. God is willing to give us a fresh start. Are we willing to go to God for a fresh start? Are we willing to go to God? Hallelujah, Basolan. You've tried on your own. You've tried on your own. You tried. Now you know it did not work. How about this morning you give God a chance and say, God, here I am. The enemy thought that he had me, but you, oh God, you prayed for me, oh God. You saved me, oh God. I know I messed up, oh God. But I'm still available to be used, oh God. I know things are not looking good in my life, oh God. But God, you are a restorer, oh God. Also of those whose hearts are broken, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, oh Lord. Lord, go to God this morning and say, Lord, I've made so many mistakes in my life. I've made so many mistakes in my life, oh God. But this morning I hear your word and I hear your voice speaking to me. I refuse to harden my heart. I refuse to give room to the devil. I refuse, I refuse to become a victim. Hallelujah. I was beaten once, devil, not twice. Hallelujah. You defeated me once, but never again. Hallelujah, Basolan. You defeated Eve and Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. But you could not defeat Jesus. Hallelujah, Basolan. You could not defeat my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Who rose from the dead. Who rose from the grave. Hallelujah, Basolan. And anything in my life that is dead. Is being risen with Christ. Hallelujah. Anything in my life that is not working, it is receiving life because of Jesus. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah this morning. You will not have my soul, devil. You might have boxed me. You might have toiled with me. You might have tried me. You might have thought that once you defeated me, but not with my children, not with my future, not with my destiny. I refuse. I'm starting fresh with God. God is giving me a fresh start. God is giving my marriage a fresh start. God is giving my career a fresh start. God is giving my life a fresh start. I am starting afresh. And this time, oh, this time I'm wiser. This time my antenna is up. This time I'm wiser. 
This time I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. This time you will defeat me. This time, this time I'll show you whose God I belong to. You've tried me once and never again. You've defeated me once and never again. You will not win. You are defeated. You are defeated on the cross. My God, Jesus, He crushed you. And then on the cross, He crushed the head of the serpent on the cross. My Jesus, He has forgiven me. He has wiped away all my sins. And He remembers them no more. So stop accusing me. I am forgiven. I take heed to the word of God. I am alive in Christ. This is me, built 2.0. This is me, built 2.0. I will build again. I will build again. I will build again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I will build again. I will build again. I will build again. I will build again. You know why? Because the gift is already in me. Hallelujah. Because the gifts of the Lord are irrevocable. God does not take them away. Though I was slain. Though I was slain. God. He pulled me from the snare. From Seol. My destiny. My life was meant to go the other way. But God came and said, not with this one. Not this with one. I refuse. Not with this one. You can have them all. You can have everything. But you don't touch their soul. That's what God says to, 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 to Satan about Job. You, you, you can more than to do whatever you want with him. Not the soul. Not the soul. Because the soul of your life is valuable to God. Anything else does not matter that we have done. God does not remember what we have done. Hallelujah this morning. It's only us in the world who are carnal. Now and then allowing the enemy to use us to say those things that we did in the past. But the word of the Lord says this morning, I'm starting you afresh. I'm wiping everything. You are building 2.0. You shall be unstoppable. You shall be unstoppable. You are the, actually, you see, Basolani, you are the perfect candidate for God. God is looking for somebody like you who is prepared and willing to turn their lives around. Because God knows that one day when you stand on the podium and you say, the enemy thought he got me here, but the Lord delivered me. And the enemy thought he, he thought he got me this side. And God came and he delivered me. Where you will be witnessing from experience. And that's what God is looking for. God is not looking for perfect people. God is not looking for perfect believers. God is looking for you out there. If you are watching via live stream, God is looking for you. You are the perfect candidate for God to be used by, by God. God will change your story. God will turn your life around. And no one will remember what you have done. But the good that God is going to do in your life will surpass the bad that the evil tried, that the enemy tried over your life. Hallelujah. Libra kazutelebekesia. And if you're in this place, and you say, Lord, I want to return to you. God says, return to me. All you are heavy laden, return to me. Come to me. Come to me. I want to pray with you this morning. I want to pray with you this morning. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the restorer. Hallelujah, Basalwan. He is the restorer. He is the restorer. He is the restorer. You might have made mistakes, but God says, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me, my child. Come to me. That is why we call him our father. Hallelujah, Basalwan. Because he has the father's loves. Hallelujah. No matter how many times. Hallelujah. How many times? A righteous man will fall seven times. But he will rise back up again. 
Hallelujah, Basalai. If you are here this morning, I want to pray with you. If you are watching via live stream and you want to give your life to God, Hallelujah. May you raise your hand this morning so that I can pray with you. Amen. If you want to restore your life back to God, I want to pray with you this morning. Raise your hand. Thank you, my sister. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Is there anyone, Basalan? Is there anyone who wants to restore their life back to God? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the best decision that we can ever make for ourselves. Hallelujah. This is the best decision. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else in this house? If there's no one, uh, my sister, if you can come here in the front, you know, I would like to pray with you in Jesus' name. Can we give God praise, Basalan? Hallelujah. The heavens are rejoicing. The heavens are rejoicing. The heavens are rejoicing. The heavens are rejoicing. Amazula ya sogoma. Amazula ya sogoma. Amazula ya sogoma. Amazula ya sogoma. Hallelujah. This is the best decision that you can ever make for your life. Hallelujah. We all had to start here and give our lives to God. Amen. And today we are witnesses that God works, that this thing works. Hallelujah, Barcelona. We are going to pray. If there's someone else on live stream as well, raise your hand, send us an emoji, and I want to pray with you this morning. Hallelujah. Can we all pray? Amen. Can you say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I thank you for saving me this morning. I give my life to you. I repent this morning. Cleanse me. Wash me. Make me a new creature. I thank you that you have saved me. Lord, I give my life to you this morning. I dedicate my life to you this morning. From now forth, I shall live my life as a child of God. From now forth, I shall give my life to the Lord. I pray today, cleanse my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Make me a new child. Give me a new spirit. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name, O oh God. We thank you for your children, O oh God. We thank you that, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Father God, you said in a way that, that O oh God, if one soul, O oh God, is saved, O oh God, repents, O oh God, the heavens rejoice, O oh God. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for your children, O oh God. Cover them with your precious blood, O oh God. Cleanse them in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Father God. Make them, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Father God. Give them that which you have called them for, O oh God. In Jesus' name, may the hedge of fire be around them, O oh God. O oh God, purify their hearts, O oh God, their minds, O oh God. Cleanse them, O oh God. Give them this gift of life, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, may they take, take heed to your voice, O oh God. May they take heed to your word, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, can we give God praise this morning? Hallelujah! I know you can do better than that. I, do, I know you can do better than that. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you for giving your life, your lives to God in Jesus' name. This is the best decision that you, you've, you can ever make for your life. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, thank you. And we bless his name. Hallelujah. See each other in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, wow. We are so excited for you. If you just said that prayer for the first time in your life, guess what? You are now born again. You are a child of God. We just want to say congratulations and welcome to the family of God. And even if you didn't say that prayer for the first time, maybe you said that prayer just to reconnect yourself with God. We just want to say to you, well done. And we pray that the grace of God will carry you and keep you.
And I'm sure wherever you are, you are asking yourself that now that you are born again, what's next? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We kindly request you to follow the details that will appear on your screen and someone will be in touch with you immediately. May God bless you and we love you. Thank you again for watching this message and I hope it was a blessing to you. Please do subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so that you can receive all of the notifications whenever we are loading new messages. And if you have been following us and you have fallen in love with what we do here at Builders Church, why don't you become part of our Builders community, especially if you are far away from any of our physical campuses. And I promise you, it's going to be a great journey together. God bless you.